I don't know what to say honestly. I just know that this movie made me want to never go to Neverland. Thank you, Pan. Seriously. Thank you. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the movie Pan. So Pan is directed by Joe Wright. It stars Hugh Jackman, Garrett Hedlund, Rooney Mara, and Levi Miller. And this movie tells the origin story of Peter Pan. His mother, played by Amanda Seyfried, who only shows up in this movie for a minute, drops him off when he was a baby at this orphanage. So for 12 years, Peter has been raised at this orphanage. And then he finds out something very mysterious about his mother. So Peter must go to Neverland and try to not only discover where his mother is but find his destiny so i'm not gonna lie i was really looking forward to pan i thought the trailers looked spectacular it looked like something that was going to be magical and amazing my anticipation level for this movie was so high pan is not only one of the worst movies of 2015 but it is the most disappointing movie of 2015 pan was shit I hated this movie. I could not believe what I was watching. It's embarrassing to see that Pan, what could have been a magical, wonderful movie, ends up being a pile of shit with no sense of wonder or imagination. What went wrong? This is basically Fantastic Four, except it's freaking worse than Fantastic Four. But let me get to the positives because as a movie reviewer, I have to talk about positives. I can't always be negative. So here we go. A few scenes in this movie looked visually good. Not great because you still notice the fakeness, but a few scenes were good in this movie visually. Hugh Jackman's over the top performance, although I can see why people would hate that performance. I actually liked Hugh Jackman's over-the-top performance. Rooney Mara as Tiger Lily miscasted. I liked her here though. She did do a really good job even though yes you can basically see anyone playing this role but she does do a good job. Some of the climax was enjoyable and that's all I have for positives. Okay well the first negative is not really a negative but you know it's still not like good either. Joe Wright's direction was okay. It wasn't badly directed, but it wasn't really good either. It was just okay. Garrett Hedlund, he's okay in this movie too. He's not horrible, but what's really distracting and really bad though was the way he talks like this. My name's Hook, James Hook. So, Peter, you want to go on an adventure? Oh, let's go sing some bunny songs. I'm a bunny. Oh, yes, I'm James Hook, and I love me some bunnies. Oh, that was unbearable to sit through, honestly. This performance, okay. The voice, ooh. Levi Miller, I have to say, he actually was the worst out of all four of, you know, the actors, you know, like with Hugh Jackman, Rooney Mara, and Garrett Hedlund. I have to say he was the worst. Some scenes, Levi Miller was okay. But other scenes, for some reason, Levi Miller was terrible. And that's not the actor's fault. I think this is his first movie, and he does try. I give him credit for trying. However, I can't deny that in half the movie, his acting was just meh at best, and the other half, it's just god awful. Now, as I said in my positives, just a few scenes of visuals looked good. But most of this movie, however, the visuals are horrible. 
This movie is a huge slap in the face to CGI. And I'm a huge supporter of CGI. I support both practical effects in movies and CGI effects in movies equally. And this movie has such a high budget. So how can so much money be put into this movie and you don't even have really great CGI? It just looks fake. And the set for Pan looks fake too. It's absolutely horrible. There's not once that I feel like I was in Neverland. But the worst thing about this movie is the birds. The birds look horrendous. It is some of the worst use of CGI I've seen in my life. All right, this movie was visually horrible, but when it got to the birds, man, did this movie just literally drop the ball. Holy sh Oh my, oh, I, I just can't believe a movie with so much potential turned into utter pixie shit. Oh, 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 oh. Luckily, after I saw this movie, however, I saw The Walk literally right after this movie and The Walk thankfully cheered me up. But man, before I saw The Walk, this movie had me pissed off. The movie doesn't even slow down too. It has horrible pacing to it. It's so rushed. It's so fast that you can't even get into the story. It's just one location after another location, after a scene, after another scene. Everything just turns into a jumbled mess. It's not just the CGI that's a jumbled crap fest, but the storyline too. This movie doesn't even know what type of audience it's going for. And then to top it all off, this movie actually sings. Smells like Team Spirit. I'm not joking! They sing fucking Smells Like Teen Spirit! Why? Why? <laughs> and then like I said earlier, I like some of the climax, but just some of it. The other part of the climax was just utter stupidity. And how the climax ends to the movie actually was so stupid, I looked at the screen going, But most of all, Pan is just a painfully awkward movie to sit through because it's not even funny on how awkward and painful most of the scenes in this movie are. I am going to give this movie one out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of the movie Pan, and also let me know what's your favorite movie that tells the story of Peter Pan. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!